going on guys if you're watching this i really appreciate it so what i'm going to be doing today i'm actually really tired i went over to a conference over this weekend so instead of going skateboarding at the park or doing any street skating i'm going to do some carpet boarding today which should be really fun um, i'm not super good at it but there it is um, yes, I do have cards on the floor. I was just practicing some, some different handles. You'll maybe see those in a later video. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is a, a nolly shove it, a, a regular shove it, 360 shove, a front shove, nolly front shove, and any, any other tricks I think of. And then maybe some, uh, if I, once I put on some shoes, I will do a kickflip if I can. Uh, I'm not promising anything, but we'll, we'll try that. I did land a front side board slide the other day. That was really exciting. That'll be in the next video, most likely, because I didn't capture it on camera, which was kind of sad. But I did get that. I did land it, so that will be on in a video coming up soon. I also landed a full rail backside board slide, which was really exciting as well. And then I'm also getting more consistent actually on my kick clips and things like that. So real exciting and uh, just gonna do some carpet boarding so it doesn't wear me out as much as going to the park. Here we go. Okay, so that turned out to be quite difficult in just socks. So I put on some shoes and I'm also gonna change this shirt because I'm getting really hot. So let's just change it like that. Oh, nice! It's ironic because I said I was going to do this and not get worn out, and I'm worn out. So there you go, some carpet boarding. That was actually really fun. Um, that's probably the best carpet boarding I've ever done. I mean, honestly, I'm progressing so fast with skateboarding, like, every day is better than I've ever done. Like, learning new tricks and stuff is just really fun. Um... This is, by the way, my old Revive deck. You can barely see Revive on there anymore, but uh, I replaced this one with an element board a little bit ago, which it is holding up like really well. This element board is fantastic. But I still like Revive boards. They are great. This board, this board actually never even like broke or anything. It just it got a razor tail and I don't know, it was kind of worn out. Anywho, that's my old board. I use it for carpet boarding now. Um, it's great to practice. Carpet boarding is a great way to practice, um, especially things like pop shove it's 360s. Um, it is just awesome for that. Like, you just saw that big spin. Like, I've never done a big spin on a normal skateboard. So, now that I've done it carpet boarding, I will be more confident to try it on a regular board. Now, difference between this video and my, and my last one, the intro video, uh, I decided I'm going to have an intro, that's always a good idea, rather than starting off the video like this, and uh, doing weird faces, like, uh, that's not a good way to start off the video, so I'm going to be doing intros more, something nice to look at, um, so you can expect that. My videos will not be as monotonous as my intro video. You'd think I would make my first video much nicer, but I didn't. So, you know what? This video is going to be a lot nicer because this is technically the first video. Technically, that was the intro video, so whatever. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Give it a subscribe and a like. Why? Because you're here on YouTube and you're watching videos, so why not? I mean, you know. So. Thank you.
you. Have a good day.